Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. London, 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 London. This is James Holder for Eiffel London. I'm live inside York Hall. With me, our British super middleweight, Robin Reid. Just, just come after your fight. Rob, how are you feeling? Feeling good, mate, yeah. Still plenty left in the tank. Um, no, it was the fifth round. It was pacing myself for the eight rounds. But I knew I was going to catch him sooner or later because, you know, it's just a, it would, it's a, well, I say it's this experience at the end of the day. It might not look like there's much happening going on in there, but I know, like, you know, when punches are landing, um, you know, what, what, what it's taking out of me opponents. Uh, I could tell he was slowly. I mean, he's a younger man at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Yes, you can tell I'm in good nick. I trained that after the fight. I was looking for the eight rounds, but I know, like, when I land them big shots, something's going to happen. <laughs> and a lot happened when that right hand, when that right hand landed. Can you talk us through the right hand and what, what you saw when the punch landed? The thing is, you see, I've been teeing up early into the fight, and Pat said to me, you know, what you got to, you got to understand is, right? I ain't boxed for like six, eight months now. Do you know what I mean? Um, since I. Uh, prize fighter last year so at the end of the day it was a little bit rusty you know but I first off I felt sharp but Pat just said you know you've got eight rounds just break your, you know just take your time and I could you know I was just clash I was just clipping him with the couple of times that I caught him with it early on and Pat just said yo just take your time as he comes after the jab and he said it'll land and as you see him he said break boom timed it just right you know when he were gone there's no coming back from a punch like that Daniel Cadman seems to be kind of knocked out on his feet for a couple of seconds was you was you a bit concerned for him yeah a little bit went like you know it's always a worrying moment because at the end of the day you know I'm in it to win it <laughs> like the short say I ain't in it to hurt anybody you know what I'm saying and like you know I wish him all the best he was a nice lad at the end of the day he messed me about in there with a couple of the old tricks and bent my elbows back and all the rest of it but you know we all do that we try and get away with what we can get away with and uh, at the end of the day like you know we give it a good fight you know I thought he'd be a little bit busier to be honest you know I was expecting him to be a little bit busy and try and put it on me because you know I'm older at the end of the day but I had the gas in my tank if need be you know and like I say I was just breaking him down and I could tell them little clips inside were slowly hurting him it was just a matter of time like do you know what I mean you know he wasn't he wasn't setting a fast pace which I thought he might have done and I'm happy if they want to like set a slow pace and you know I was just getting behind my jab picking a few shots let him have a big right hand and a big left do and just breaking him down slowly you know and the further the fight goes you know that you know and I, I know I can I, I can rely on my fitness I know I've got eight rounds ten rounds twelve rounds in me um, and at the end of the day you know I knew the further the fight went you know the better it was going to be for me what's next Rob can you give us a little insight uh, well I, you know I got off with the British title uh, well I, I crack at the British against George Groves that was in December now at the end of the day you know I've had elbow injuries and blah blah and it was, wasn't enough notice you know what I mean you know I've been only being honest I did say to them though like at the end of the day you know I'm glad you think you, you, you know it tell, tells me something that if they're still considering me but the thing is I know how it works you know I'm older and what they're thinking is obviously he's 40 years of age now he's still got a bit of you know there's still a lot of bite left in the dog ball you know it'd be a good scalp and a good name Robbie Reed, blah 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 for George Groves obviously and I said to him listen I ain't going to take the fight with three weeks notice you know I'm glad you've you know you've thought about me and all the rest of it. Bear me, oh yeah, right. Well, what, what, what about some time next year? So I said, yeah, happy days as long as you give me plenty of notice. I said, I'll, you know, I'm gonna. I, I, I. I'll take the fight with an with intent to win, not to just take part, you know, so, you know, the good thing about that is, at least they're thinking about me still on British title terms, you know, so, like I say, um, you know, George Rose is fighting Kevin um, Kevin Anderson, you know, they fought each other before and they were up and down like yo-yos and they knocked seven belts out of each other, so, you know, I mean, as a boxer, you know, from experience myself, I hope they do that again, I knock seven belts out of each other, because that takes that little bit more out of both of them, do you know what I mean? But when I just sneak round in there, you know, and then I get my shot in you know uh, hopefully it's George Groves and what a great fight that'll be great fight well it's safe to say there's plenty more to come from Robin Reed, yeah, exactly. and you've only got to look at people like Bernard Hopkins to draw inspiration exactly. yeah 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 and like you say you know you should warn to all you young ones out there you can't beat experience you know and I, well, I've got plenty of it that WBC on there yeah it's not on there for nothing that's in the history books that former WBC champion with four defences you can't beat it three times world champion so I can always fall back on my experience and these kids might come out like bulls in China shops to start with but at the end of the day like you say I've got bags of experience and that'll always bring me through Robin Reid uh, congratulations and thank you for your time this is James Helder with Robin Reid for iFilm London thank you iFilm London, London, London. I feel blunt, 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 blunt. I feel.